So yeah, I, I took a long time to beat this over the past few months. Uh, it probably shouldn't have taken as long, because Chrono Trigger is not a super long game, but... I don't know. Recently, I've been trying to stream only when I feel like it. And thankfully, this week I felt like it a lot. Uh, just because I want to beat it before I go to Japan. Which I am leaving this Thursday evening. The flight is Friday morning, so that's pretty sweet. I, uh... It still doesn't feel real. Like, I don't think it will feel real until... I am on the plane to Japan. Um, just because it is something I've wanted to do my whole life, and it's even more crazy that the reason I'm going is to see Yasunori Mitsuda and the Tokyo Orchestra live in concert perform songs from Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross, because that's bananas. Super bananas, but I'm very excited. In my magical dream space, I was in theory going to play through Chrono Cross as well, but obviously there is not enough time for that. I'll probably start streaming it sometime after I get back, though, just because I have been wanting to play Chrono Cross again recently. Hope that, like, some magic thing happened and he all of a sudden doesn't need as many. That's not the case. Two more runs of the conveyor belt. Who's excited? Yeah, I'll definitely play Chrono Cross sometime soon. Um, the next game I am going to stream is going to be brand new, though. Uh, there is a an indie RPG called Glitched that comes out on Tuesday that I've been super excited to play, and I I've had a lot of fun streaming Chrono Trigger, um, but. I think the last time I had the most fun streaming was when I played through CrossCode, and that was, like, brand new for me, so... I'm gonna try to do Glitched, because I feel like I will also super enjoy that, and it will be brand new at the time, so... And then after that, I will probably stream through Super, super dope. I, I preach it a lot, but Chrono Cross is so good, um, I, I still feel like people think kind of poorly of it as a quote-unquote sequel to Chrono Trigger, but as, as I've said, I don't even agree with that. I, it's, it's a great game overall. One more. And we have done it. I would have done this after I beat the boss of this, but I am pretty sure that the conveyor belt shuts off, so... Oh, 
Oh, for sure. Like, the individual writing of each character is not as good as it is in Chrono Trigger, but it's kind of impossible to have that, right? When you have, like, 30 characters that not all of them necessarily even have anything to do with the main story, and some of them are side characters, like... You're not gonna get super nuanced characters for all of them, but I mean, there's still a lot that get a good amount of character development, obviously. Surge, Kid... Harsh Riddle. But even then, the unique way a lot of characters speak and react to things, there's a lot of writing in that game. Someone had to translate a lot of text. Magus learns Dark Matter. Let's see if he can kill all these homies with it. He can't. Thirty-eight. Holy shh. Uh, Ida, mid, FR, one, two. And so, earlier we got the two Piozo dolls. Poyozo. I never remember which one it is. We will put them on the pedestals outside of that gate that we saw. Welcome home, Prometheus. Atropos? Yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. Mwaha! Unlike the other R series, Prometheus had a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. I see. Tell them, Prometheus. Now step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans, then go see Mother. Huh. We're leaving. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed, Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus! Wait, stand back and leave this to me. Atropos. Prometheus! Ooh, and the counter? Oh, dang. Three hundred shits weak. Uzi Punch does a thousand. Get it, Robo.
No, she did Uzi Punch? Oh, hold on. Ooh, area bomb, I don't have that yet. Can't do that one. I am. P Prometheus, it's been ages. Atropos? I'm damaged. What happened? Atropos! My memory bank. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Atropos! This is for you. You can plug this into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Atropos ribbon ups robo speed by three and magic defense by ten. I would use that, but I like his physical counter. You did well to come this far. I am the mother brain of the RY series factory. Come, Prometheus. You must once again join us. I'll reset your circuitry and erase your memories. Then we'll dispose of these filthy humans. I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memories or my irreplaceable friends. You would betray me to stay with these humans? You would turn against the family of robots? Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marl, Luca, Frog, and Ayla. Boom! Magus taught him nothing. I will not betray my friends. Ho! Foo-hoo-hoo. This is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions? I'll show you just how human you've become. Prometheus, why? Got the Terra arm and the Crisis arm. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. Hmm, we're leaving. Let's go! Very good, Robo. I enjoyed your service. We'll do 
one more thing before we fight the final boss. I'll see if I can fight a new form of Specchio. Hey, punk kid, where you been? Hi, looking for some practice? Yeah, dog. All right. Is my man kidding me right now? Starts with that shit. Frog, 400 damage. Frog. Magic, I guess Magus has like unlimited magic defense, so we'll probably be okay here, but that shit's crap. Uh, I'll just heal so that the other two have a slightly higher chance of staying alive. This frog's gonna do absolute trash for magic damage. Got it. Come on, you gotta be honest, huh? What? Yeah. Uh, that was most embarrassing. Humph, don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. The graceful set, one magic tab, speed tab, power tab. I am the master of war! Ooh, sometimes I scare myself. Alright. So... We are all good. Does he still give you the list of all of them? You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lay open to you. Black Omen... You see, I don't know how to make that one go away. But... That's okay, alright. 
tabs. Okay, so we are going to go fight the final boss, Lavos. I could use the Epoch and crash into him, but I want to show the whole fight, so I'm not going to do that. Um, because you can skip the whole first phase if you do that, so we'll take the bucket. What be happening? Come on out now. I've been waiting for this. Lavos. Chrono, be thee certain? Fight. Cometh, Massa Moon. Finally, I shall destroy you. Lavos enters attack mode. So this first phase of Lavos is essentially he turns into the boss's fought up to this point. So, like, the dragon tank was the first real main boss. Almost changes attack mode. You gotta kill the bits. Give him the bits. Hecran. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that was not my intent to attack. I was just mashing buttons died anyways. I don't know how that would how Lavos would show the part of the Hecaran where he counters because that was like his whole thing. Zombor! Oh no, I, you know what? I guess, uh, the dragon tank isn't really the first boss. Yakra is. Don't fight Yakra. That's sad. Steals his MP. Oh, he did do that. God damn it. Ooh. Massa and Moon.
almost changes attack mode. Ms. Bell. Luminar count! It counted as lightning in other instances. Get to discharge? No. Magus. It's weird when Magus is in our party, but okay. Dark Bomb on you again, I will do it. Flame. Getting ready to cast a spell. Changes attack mode. Black Tyranno and Azala. Come on, start counting down, champ. There it is. Is it going to get the countdown all the way? No. Oh, I can never remember this thing's name. 
Gaia Town, Gaia Boys. They almost had Luminaire then. Not quite. God, Frog's magic defense is trash. That should have killed both the hands. Playthrough, I beat this boss using the triple tech with Frog Crow and Marl. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you've never if you've never finished Chrono Trigger, oh thank you for the thank you for the follow, man. Um if you've never finished Chrono Trigger, you should do it. It's not it's not a super long game. It's not super difficult either. Um as demonstrated by me <laughs> spamming the same attacks over and over for most of this playthrough, but I mean if you've never played before, it's not like usually you just figure out optimal strats, but yeah, you should for sure finish it. But yeah, I mean, this is like also one of the two games that I could stream that I know in and out, so. Every time I do Luminaire, I feel like I gotta try to recreate the sound of my mouth, and I apologize for that. Yeah. Oof. Can it be over? It ain't over yet. We'll get to the bottom of this, Lavos. So yeah, they give you a portal out so you can go back and do other stuff if you need to. This is creepy. It's worse than Magus's place. No turning back now. Um, and if you crash the epoch into it, you just come in here. So, interessante. All right, let me get a drink quick before I start this fun time. Finally, you have met your match, Lavos. Cyrus, this be our finest battle. Oh, thanks for the follow, man. 
Oh, the nipple lasers! How could I forget about the nipple lasers? Classic. Oh my god, frog. Dare disable Frog's defense status? Good thing we got the Prism Helm! There it is. Alright. No, not Obstacle. Nope, I'm not dealing with this. Why is he getting all the status elements, but no one else is? is you just destroy his arms and then physically attack. Uh, he'll start doing some crazy high damaging moves. But like Magus and Krona are a high enough level of high enough magic defense that it's not as crazy as it could be. Frog on the other hand taking a beating. But he can also heal, heal fairly easily for not that much MP. Like, if I was going to attack with Frog, I would have him physically attack as opposed to magic, so his magic is mainly for 
healing anyways. physical damage, he still takes like a champ, so I don't know. Probably should have changed the armor he's got on. So, since the dawn of time it has slept underground, controlling evolution on this world for his own purpose? It is too much to bear. We have been reared like animals, our lives hath been for naught. We were created only to be harvested, all people, and all living things. My life retaineth its meaning. We haveth our own will. It's over for you. Your life ends here. Right, so like the Guardian earlier in the game, Lavos has two bits and his center body, but there is uh, like plot twisty type thing where Lavos is not actually the middle thing. So, the main gimmick of this fight is obviously the, the bits, right? But it will also, as time moves, oh, at this time moves, as the fight goes on, he will change time periods and. be able to do different moves. So the one that we are scared to death of is the prehistoric era. Because he will do a move that is freaking absurd. And that's like the only thing that we'll probably really have a lot of trouble with. Like, to the point where it, like, will probably kill Frog in one hit, actually. Uh, and I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just gonna use Lapis here.
probably gonna get trashed on by this. Ooh! I was right. some magic. status. Uh, generally, yes. Generally, this is the party that I will always use at the end of the game, just because they are my three favorite characters in the game, but I have also been known to use Robo. character that I probably, like, hardly ever use, period, is Luca. Um, just because I feel like she has no real strength. I mean, that's not necessarily true. She does a lot of cool stuff, but... She just, like, doesn't have really good physical attack. Her magic stat isn't anything, like, super special like Magus's is. Whereas, like, Marl is a theoretical healer, um, Ayla has hilariously high attack, and you can make her stupidly busted. Um, everybody's good in their own ways, uh, but I, I really like Robo. Uh, these three are generally my go-to party, though. Yeah. So you don't want to destroy the body and have the two bits out because you saw what happens. They do an absurd physical attack that does a lot of damage. Um, 
So thankfully, the left bit sucks. And you can destroy it pretty quickly, especially with the weapons I have, like Chrono with the Rainbow Sword and Frog with the Powered Up Massamoon. Okay, this is where we want to watch out very much. And hope that they time warp because it could kill us. Oof. Oof! Magnus! <laughs> the physical damage! I accidentally told Frog to use a full ether on himself. Shit. Oh, I won anyways. That was the final boss. <laughs> we have done it. For those people who figured it out at the beginning, the right bit is the true final boss. Seizure warning. I don't know, I don't know why the shadow of the left bit always shows up there. Chrono, Chrono! Chrono! It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. Your stay of execution has been canceled. We must now carry out your sentence. We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing! She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me, we had to... Save the future, right? Huh? You saved the future and gave us hope. You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Kino! Chrono beat Reptites! What's going on here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsmen? You mean these are my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. 
Now for a true victory parade. Tonight we celebrate you. Now, Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Come along with Chrono, our hero! Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia's back to normal. It's a moonlight parade! There's Luca's mom and dad uh, over there. Tabin's getting crunk. Chrono's mom. See, so in case you couldn't figure it out, because Kino was there, uh, that means that Ayla is Marl's ancestor. Don't just be a sack of potatoes, dance with me! Chrono, the king says you save the future. Wait till I tell my friends! Yum, lemonade sure tastes great outdoors! Chrono, have a sip. You're the hero today. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you spent more time around the house. It's a real problem when the person who's in charge of the cat is gone. Not much business and weapons anymore, but I like it that way. Ah, they block it off. We can't fight Gatto during the ending. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Chrono was strong, Marl too. Ayla, have fun! You're my distant ancestor, so you'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. Hehe, <laughs> no worry. Ayla, very strong, right? Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now. Ayla's pregnant. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lean awaits, your majesty, we too shall take our leave. Mr. Frog? Long farewells and there were necessary. Right, besides, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? So, you're gonna search for Shawa? No answer. Classic Magus action. Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in a bleak future when we defeated Lavos. We changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. Haha, <laughs> please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo. Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. 
Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. Goodbye. <laughs> Caution, oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. Time travel, how exhausting. We should dismantle the epoch. Its job is finished. You naughty thing, come back here! Look, Chrono, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Hey, come back here! Oh, great! Chrono, that gate will never open again! <laughs> well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them, but the gates... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. I forgot, we have a time machine! Nya ha ha! Oh, Princess, the king asks for your presence. I'm so happy! Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore! I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. Marl, where'd you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Ooh, made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, Tabin. Actually, I could really use your help. The credits in this game are wild when you see who made this game. Friggin' Akira Toriyama credit with the character designs. Fucking Yuji Hori and Sakaguchi! Yezunuru Mitsuda and Nobuo Uematsu did the music. Ah! It just, I, there's so many, so many names in this. I think this is actually one of the first games that I believe Tetsuya Nomura is credited in as well. in a new future? I think the queen really loves frog.
but yeah, it's one of, it's one of those weird things. Like this game is my favorite game of all time, and it means a lot to me personally. Um, but there is a reason that it is widely considered to be one of the greatest games of all time by a lot of people. Um, it's got so much charm and like a lot of good writing. It had a lot of unique ideas for the time. It was the first, if not one of the first, uh, games that got rid of random encounters. It, it did a lot of stuff. And also just like the team that was behind it were the minds behind some of the other greatest JRPGs of all time. And it's just something that the perfect storm came together and it will never happen again. Like those people all will never ever in a million years work on a game at the same time and like people who uh started work on this game or did some work on it are now huge like Tetsuya Nomura was a field designer like that's like nothing and now he is one of the most popular JRPG game directors of all time right um Yazunori Mitsuda worked with Nobuo Uematsu on the music of this game and afterwards um Mitsuda went on to do all kinds of stuff. I mean, he composes music for all types of games and now is elevated to a level the same as Uematsu. So it's like, it's crazy. This game did a lot for a lot of people's careers. And it, just, it did a lot in general. And it's crazy to think that, like, now a game of the same scope would probably have, like, a bajillion people in the credits. Like, that's not a long credit sequence. And so yeah, that'll do it. Um, we beat Chrono Trigger. We did all the side quests. Uh, other than going through the Black Omen. I think maybe some point after I get back from Japan and see the concert, I will load this back up and go through the Black Omen and just talk about how the experience of being in Japan was and how the concert was, because... I mean, this game and its sequel are the reason I am going to Japan in the first place is to see see Yazunori Mitsuda in concert. Uh, and I'm super psyched. And, and, oh my god. Like, pe people don't understand how much it means to me. Like, I'm super... Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, I might come back and do like a bonus episode or something, but that is it for the Chronos Trigger stream through. Thank you to everyone who watched. I very much appreciate it. We got two new follows this uh, this episode. That's pretty sick. Um, I will be back on Tuesday. I'm probably going to stream some, of, some Glitched because it comes out on Tuesday. Uh, and then after that, I will be gone for two weeks and I will return on November 2nd to do my 24-hour yearly Extra Life stream. So if you can tune in for that, you should check it out. Me and a couple friends just play some local multiplayer games for 24 hours straight, trying to earn money for charity. It's cool. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for me here today with Chrono Trigger. Thank you to everyone who watched this playthrough. Peace. <laughs>